Today, I'm not going to review this. No, I'm going to be using it for something. Even though now, I'm reviewing a fountain pen. Okay. Um, so, the Dryden Rosewood Fountain Pen um, is by Dryden Designs. And it says Rosewood Fountain Pen Premium Version. Um, it is very luxurious actually, so it's true. Um, so let's open it up. And it does come with a converter, by the way. Okay, so, so this has got two cases. One's just a normal box. And one's, um, this really nice box here. So let's put the really normal box aside. It's got this really, the box has got like a really nice tan. It's got this red finish. Um, so here's the box, it's very nice. Let's put the box aside. Also, it does say dried in. Um, it looks white, even though it is a yellow tint, um, coloured. Even though it looks like these two are the same colour. This is like a brownie colour, and that's a red colour. Um, so, um, this is a rosewood pen with a gold trim. I do really like it it fits in my hand very well uh, it would suit a young person i'm trying to open it with one hand give me a sec i'm really struggling okay, okay i think that was my videos are terrible aren't they so we've got this really nice lid. Um, let's put that aside. And we've got this really, really nice pen with a lovely nib. If I can just focus on that. Focus. It's got silver and gold. And this was made in Germany. So the converter is a um, piston filling converter. Um, with not much ink in, I've got red ink. Um, some people might not like that. I wasn't a fan of it, even though it keeps me going. I like to use my pens posted, so it's good that there's a lid. Why wouldn't there be? Um, so the nib's quite nice. Um, grip is very comfortable. It's not got any grip like a Lamy Safari. So if you don't like a Lamy Safari, then, uh, well, um, get this. Because this is a good pen. Feels good in your hand. Um, it's good for a starter, even though I, I'm kind of I'm kind of a starter, even though I've got two pens, a gold plated one and a silver um a, a um what's it called again? Um stainless steel. Um, so yeah, um, I'll do a bit of calligraphy and a bit of my normal writing. I'm holding this in the wrong hand. I wrote, write with my right handy, but I'm holding it with my left hand. So I'll see you when I'm writing calligraphy. My writing is terrible. Please don't blame me. That's my calligraphy writing. That's my terrible writing. That's my terrible writing. That one says job, that one says draw. This one says this this fountain pen 
is great. And it really is. Also, is this book. So, I do think you should get the dried and rosewood fountain pen. One downer to this is you can't put the rosewood fountain pen in like that because then it will go like that. Unlike my other thing, you have to put it in straight like that. And there is a bit of a line even when you put it straight up. And the pen does move around quite a lot. Even though it is my normal pen, um, I'll use this pen for special occasions. I'll review this one next time and this one the time after. I might do a bit of a break after that, even though I'm going to do YouTube videos more regularly. So, bye. Double wave.